guys in this video we are having a curve which is such that dy over dx equals to x to the power one half minus x to the power minus one half and this curve passes through the point four and two thirds the first question here is to find the equation of the curve and the second one we want to take the derivative the second derivative of the function and on the third question, we want to find the coordinate of the stationary point and determine its nature. To answer the first question, because uh, we know that dy over dx here is a derivative of the equation we're looking for, we, I mean, dy over dx here is y, y prime. So to find y, we will need to take the derivative of y prime to have y. Okay, this means that we will take the derivative of y prime to have y. Of course, we will take the derivative and, and then we will have the constant of integration in it. And we will find the value of the constant of integration by applying, you know, this point in it, x and y point. Then we can write the equation of the curve. This means that we will have the integration of x to the power one half uh, minus x to the power of minus one half dx. And this is going to give us here uh, x to the power of um, 1 half plus 1 over the new power. We increase the power and then over 1 half plus 1 minus x to the power of minus 1, 1 half plus we increase the power with 1 and over the new power plus one and the whole thing plus the constant of integration and this is going to give us here um x to the power of three over three over three and a half it means that two-thirds of x to the power of three three and a half excuse me minus we're having here x to the power of one and a half and here we have a one and a half it means it's gonna be x to the power of one and a half over one and a half plus c and this here equals to um so two third x to the power of three and a half minus uh two x to the power of one and a half plus c of course you remember that anytime you take a derivative it's got to be plus the constant of integration and this here is y okay now we're going to replace you know y and x here by their value because they are they belong to the point passing through the curve and therefore what we have uh y is here two-third we'll have two-third equals to two third uh, x is four four to the power of three and a half minus two times uh, four to the power of one and a half plus c that would be to find the value of the constant of integration this is going to give us what we put about together two third equals to four to the power of three and a half is eight times two is sixteen third and four to the power of one and a half is two times two will be minus four and plus c the constant of integration so we can pass everything on the other side to have the constant of integration we will have two third i mean two third of course minus 16 third plus 4 equals to c and now we can also um you know reduce all of them to the same denominator it's going to give us your 2 minus 16 plus 12 equals to 3c it means that we just cross multiply and as you can see here we're having minus 16 plus 12 is uh, minus 4 
plus 2 minus 4 plus 2 will be minus 2 equals to 3c. Therefore, we will have minus 2 third equals to c. And this is here our constant of integration. Therefore, we can write our equation, you know, replacing c here by its value. So, our the equation of our uh, curve is therefore 2 third x to the power of 3.5 minus 2 x to the power of 1.5 minus 2 third. So, the second question, this is what we're doing. We want to find d squared y over dx squared. And this is here the second derivative, prime prime. Okay, so we take the derivative of this one because it's the first derivative. You can take the derivative of this one. We're going to have the second one. So this means that we're going to have, uh, we take the derivative of this one here. It's going to give us, first we take the power out front and then reduce the power of the expression. So this is going to give us here 1 half x to the power of 1 half minus 1 plus uh, minus one half or, the, or minus one half of course okay I put it minus one half x to the power of minus one half minus one and this is equal to um, one half um, x to the power of minus one half minus we have we had here minus minus is going to be we put it plus directly because we have in here minus and we have minus 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 can have plus so we have here plus so plus um one half of x to the power of minus three and a half and this is here the second derivative of our curve over dx squared. To find the coordinates of the stationary point, we first need to work to solve the equation y prime equals to zero. This is going to give us y prime is this one here. We're having x to the power one half minus x to the power minus one half equals to zero. So we know that. Um, this is also equal to one half x minus one half minus one over x to the power of one half, and this equal to zero. We can cross multiply. So x to the power one half times x to the power one half gives us x minus one over x to the power one half is the square root of x equals to zero. And if we cross multiply it, okay, with one here. This is going to give us x minus 1 equals to 0. And therefore, we can add 1 in it, and we will obtain x equals to 1. Then, we will replace x here in the original function by 1 to obtain um, the coordinate of the stationary point. So, this is going to give us here um, y equals to uh, two third of one to the power three and a half is one minus two one to the power one and a half is one so we don't need to write anything there minus two third okay but if you want we can put one here times one and times one okay so this is giving us we have in here two third and minus two third can cancel out and we will have y equals to minus 2. It means that that stationary point, we can call it s, has the coordinate 1 and minus 2. Now, to know if this point is a minimum or, or, or a maximum, we will replace 1 in our second derivative. This means that we will have y prime prime equals to 1 half. 1 to the power minus 1 half is 1 times 1 plus 
uh, one half times one to the power of minus three and a half is also one times one and this is equal to uh, two and a half equals to one and one is bigger than zero it means that our point here is a minimum of course because this is bigger than x is a minimum so thank you for watching me again until next time and